Porter, fetch my book of ancient symbols. Ow! Let's see. Sacred temple, jaguar paw. Ah, here we go. To whom it may concern. Whosoever discovers this message will tell the tale of the great Maya culture or be cursed with minor foot ailments. Take care or beware the god of maize. Oh, well, I don't want any of that. OK, here goes. The Maya were an ancient civilization located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and parts of Guatemala, El Salvador, Belize and Honduras. Yeah, people sometimes confuse them with the Aztecs, another Central American society. But the Maya came thousands of years before. Their first settlements are almost 4,000 years old. And unlike the Aztecs, the Maya weren't part of a centrally controlled empire. Their civilization was more of a loose collection of city-states, each with its own ruling family. At the peak of the civilization, between the 3rd and 10th centuries AD, Maya city-states, or polities, were major urban centers. Large polities like Capan, Tikal, Palenque and Calakmu were dominated by massive steppe pyramids and huge palaces for the ruling families. Each city-state controlled the surrounding farmlands and smaller towns, and it was always looking to expand its influence, mainly through military conquest. Neighbouring cities were constantly at war with each other, and though they didn't necessarily speak the same language, we still look at them as one civilization because they shared a common culture. Well, for one thing, the Maya were the only Native American society with a complete system of writing. In other words, one that could fully represent a spoken language. Maya script looks a bit like Egyptian hieroglyphs, but many of the symbols are phonetic, representing sounds instead of ideas. That means that they can be combined to form spoken words, just like the letters in our alphabet. But instead of just 26 letters, the Maya had hundreds of phonetic symbols. In fact, most of what we know about their culture comes from writing that was carved into stone and wood, painted on pottery, or even written in a kind of paper book called a codex. Some of the most spectacular Mayan artefacts are stone columns called steli, which depict images of rulers together with family trees and stories of conquest. Well, they were a warlike culture, but that wasn't all they were about. As in most ancient civilizations, religion was at the centre of Mayan culture. In fact, a desire to understand the gods was the driving force behind their scientific and technological advances. Step pyramids were often topped with temples dedicated to the most important gods. These temples sometimes doubled up as astronomical observatories. Even without telescopes, the Maya made detailed charts of the stars in the night sky, which they considered a story of the gods' activities. That's right! Many Mayan temples and pyramid complexes were constructed to align with certain constellations. What we call the Pleiades cluster was especially important, because the Maya believed that their ancestors originally came from there. In fact, the movement of the Pleiades tied into at least one of several complex calendar systems that the Maya developed. Oh, those are Maya numbers! They used a base 20 system, meaning that there were 20 individual digits instead of 10. Each bar represents a 5, and each dot represents a 1. The shell represents a 0, making the Maya one of the earliest civilizations to use it. In some ways, they were more advanced than the Europeans who conquered them. Well, since there was no central authority, the Maya civilization didn't fall suddenly, like the Aztecs or the Inca. Instead, the Spanish slowly conquered the individual city-states one by one. And by the end of the 17th century, all the major centres of power had fallen.
But the Mayan people didn't go anywhere. They still occupy the same area of land they've lived in for thousands of years. Well, I don't think I can remember anymore. I hope that's enough to appease the god of maize.